Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, May 7, 2010. This morning we're going to look at debugging a web app using Seaside, and what we're using is VisualWorks 7.7, the latest release of VisualWorks, and Seaside 3.0, or a pre-release of it, the latest version that was out at the point we released the product. I've already loaded Seaside and I've built a small Hello World type application. It all it does is render Hello World into a browser, like so. So if I hit Hello here, you can see it doesn't do anything exciting. The purpose of this isn't to really go through Seaside 3.0. That's something for future screencast. I need to update my tutorial from the current 2.8 rev to what's out there now. But let's just break this by trying to concatenate an integer to the string. Now, this is syntactically correct, so it compiles, obviously. But it's going to break, so we'll hit this. And you see I get what I expect. I get an exception window. Now, the interesting thing about this is notice the browser. It's still waiting for localhost in this case. And that's because the way Seaside works, you can debug intra-hit. This is very different from the way things work in Ruby on Rails or Web Toolkit and Smalltalk for that matter, or most other development environments for web applications. I can come in here, I can fix this, in this case by saying, oh, let's make it dash one. And we'll hit Control S. Notice the way the stack rejiggered, hit proceed, come back to the browser, and there it is. So while my fix is fairly nonsensical, you see the larger point when you get a break in code, and it's not one that you'd purposely introduce, obviously, but a real break, you can get into the debugger. More interestingly, I can force that. If this were doing something I didn't understand, now this is a bad example of that, there's really not a whole lot to misunderstand here. But what, let's say that there was, I could put a breakpoint here, insert breakpoint, and then I can come up here, refresh this, and then I'll still get the debugger, and I can start going through this fix whatever problem I have or add some new code. So I'll go comma one, hit control S, I'll get rid of the probe and I'll hit proceed. And sure enough, it works. That's the really cool thing about doing web development in Seaside as opposed to other tool sets that are out there, including some of the cool ones like Ruby on Rails. When you debug, you're debugging as a surgeon, not as a forensic pathologist. You're not stuck trying to change code reload your application, get to the point where you were at, and try to figure out how to reproduce your problem, you just go ahead and debug, just like you would for any desktop application. Programming Seaside for the web is like programming any other problem in Smalltalk. You get access to all the same rich tools. So you're not left out in the cold, you're not doing weird things, you're not relying on tests to solve every known problem in the universe. When you really want the debugger, you've got the debugger. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.